You know, I have a whole new level of respect for WAC 100. Um, I don't agree with everything he does or everything he says, but one thing I give WAC 100 credit for, there are times that he stand on his square for the better, for the better term. Now, I like the way he come to the defense of Kanye regarding Nori apologizing. Why did Nori feel the need to apologize for having Kanye West on his platform when he capitalized, got views off of Kanye West? had the opportunity to check Kanye if he felt Kanye needed to be checked, but he didn't. He played the role of his friend. He played the role that he supported him and then apologized and said he made the mistake of having Kanye on his platform, although Kanye spoke the truth. Now, see, this is why I really don't support this generation of so-called Black Americans because you're basically by yourself. See, they'll talk about Black Lives Matter and all of this Black rah-rah mess and we need to come together and we need to do this and Black this and Black that. But if you say something or believe different than what they do, they are quick to cancel you with the quickness. Black Americans will cancel you and turn their backs on you quickly. Now, I want you to listen to what WAC 100 has to say to Nori. And I support Kanye West 210%. He's not by himself. There's people out there like myself that support Kanye West, regardless of what the so-called black community says about him. And it's interesting that black Americans did not cancel Kanye West when he wore that White Lives Matter t-shirt, but they canceled him when he says something about the so-called Jewish people. And now they're celebrating that Kanye West was canceled. They want the man to go broke now because he says something about the so-called Jewish people. But I want you to listen to what WAC 100 has to say. Nori, fuck with you, bro. But I just heard that 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 Breakfast Club shit. Nah, bro, we street niggas, bro. We know we doing what we doing. That's one thing bothers Nori. And I fuck with you, but what you can't do is act like you wasn't hearing what you was hearing and act like you had a problem with it when you was hearing it. Because we know you didn't have a problem with it. You didn't even have a problem with the nigga calling Puff a, a, a fed nigga and that's on Revo, nigga. Like, that's Puff Network. But my nigga, if you're gonna fuck with Ye, fuck with Ye, bro. We all disagree and agree with some shit Ye says. You know what I'm saying? And that's just our personal opinion. But all the apologies to the family and all this shit, like you all of a sudden anti Ye, that ain't gangster, homie. No, you a stand up dude, bro. Just simply say you let that man do his interview. Because it's Kanye West, it's Jay, right? You didn't want him to walk out. Because at the same token, I just went and checked. If you that emotional about this shit, why is it still up? You still reaping the benefits of the views, bro, if, if it's that serious. Like, bro, don't play off into the politics, bro. Stand on your square like you always did, bro. You didn't have no problem with that man speaking his opinion because it was his opinion. Don't let him put it on you. Tell him address yay. You there to ask a question to get a motherfucking answer. 
You ain't the judge and jury to that, but don't flip it, bro. Like all of a sudden, all I got at yay after the fact. And if you didn't get at yay right then and there like you always do when he said what he said, niggas don't want to hear that shit, bro. Stand on your square. You did a great motherfucking interview, part three. Probably one of the biggest, um, you know, uh, uh, viewing artists that comes up there, bro. Don't act like, well, I didn't got three out of him. I don't need him no more. Fuck him. Nah, bro. Stand on your square. You ask the questions, they get the answers. That's it, bro. All that other shit, bro. That shit ain't real. That shit ain't right, bro. And, and, and you know, niggas ain't respecting that, bro. All of a sudden, you totally against everything he was saying and all this shit. All that shit is cap. It's a big cap, bro. You did it for the reasons you did it for, and we don't knock that, bro. It's business. Stand on your square, Noy. Stand on your square. You a stand-up nigga, bro. Don't let these niggas, don't let these niggas shake you like this all of a sudden. Be who you always been, bro. Love. Shout out to WAC 100. Bro, you get mad respect from me. There's nothing else I could say. WAC 100 said everything that was in my heart to say. When I came across this video, I had to post it because I couldn't have said it no better. But this is the reason why I can't rock with, you know, many of the agendas that so-called black Americans have because when you believe different than they do or go against what they want you to say or the, the way they want you to think, they will cancel you with the quickness. They will turn their backs on you. Can't trust them. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.